I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. The Forgetful God. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on that faith to the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available on all major platforms. Sharing is caring when it comes to Higher Things do uh, content. And donate. A tax-deductible gift to Higher Things keeps us passing on that faith to the next generation. Keeps us making the gifts of Christ Jesus known to youth and young adults. What a great mission. Give today. And you know why you should give? You should give today in celebration of my birthday, which is tomorrow. Now that I've shamelessly plugged my birthday, happy birthday to me, um, let's talk about the God who um, forgets. Part of the definition of God is that he never forgets, that he remembers things. He's like an elephant that never forgets. What I want you to look at is this. This is the introit for last Sunday. Remember, O Lord, your tender mercies and your loving kindnesses, for they are from old. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all her troubles. Psalm 25, 26, 25, 6, and 2. So why do we need God, who never forgets, to suddenly be a God that forgets? Why do we need God to suddenly be absent-minded? Well, that's because of our sin. It's because of the things that we did. We need God to remember not our sins and not what we've done, but to remember his tender mercies and his loving kindness. And if you are sort of like, well, why do I have to remind the God who never forgets to not forget that he's kind and loving kind and full of loving kindness? Again, because I'm not full of mercy and loving kindness, says. I'm full of trouble. I'm full of sin. I'm full of, I have enemies all around me. I need to be redeemed, bought back from my sins, from death and the power of the devil. As the, the psalmist prays, redeem Israel, O God, out of all their troubles. So Lord, save us. So be the God that remembers your good on the cross for us. Be the God who looks at us through the nail scars of Jesus and not by what we haven't, haven't done. Be the God that keeps his promises over and against us and our unfaithfulness. Be the God who saves us because we desperately need you to be that God. Rimen Iskari, which is the second Sunday in Lent yesterday, reminds us to be to believe that God justifies those he shouldn't justify and saves those he shouldn't save. So, so we need you to remember not our sins, but your loving kindness. Remember your loving kindness and your tender mercies. Be the God who saves us despite us in Jesus Christ. Because when the rubber hits the road, you don't know who to pull for, or who, you don't know what truth is. This truth alone stands against all other truths that you might think are true about you and about others, is that God is merciful and full of loving kindness in the suffering and death of Jesus. That he who died for you has raised from the dead for you, and he lives for you, and you died with him, and you rose with him, and you live with him. And you will live forever in him. So don't remember the things that I've done, God. Remember your tender mercies and your loving kindness, for they are from old. Happy Lent. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and I'll see you tomorrow on my birthday. And this has been another Higher Things video short.